forests are made out of carbon, basically. That carbon that is on the ground and not in the atmosphere, causing climate change to happen. So this is a big store of carbon. And we need to know how that store of carbon is behaving. Huh? So is it declining? Is it increasing? And uh, uh, we were able to now put on the map globally that forests take about tw twice more carbon up than they release every year. I think that is definitely that is definitely one of these what you would see the blue spot, huh? The blue spot on the map, which shows this as an area that is regrowing, and you can see that there are very young, uh, very low trees basically, and uh, these young regrowing forests. I mean, those are the ones who take up a lot of the carbon, huh? So I think it's uh, I think it's this patch. Now we followed it, and it's here, and I think it's this regrowing piece right there. This is, of course, a very local shot from a forest in Wageningen. But these numbers, we have that also glo globally on that, on that level of de detail. I also want to show roads. Yeah, exactly. I want to show. And we can see it in Wageningen. Huh? We can see the spots we just visited in the forest. And then we can eventually zoom out. And you can see the Netherlands. And then you can see Europe. And uh, we can move to different parts of the world. Uh, for example, we could move to the uh, the Amazon rainforest in Brazil, and then we see, of course, there we see the same level of detail. So this is the map we just uh, published and released the data for. It's the map of the forest carbon sinks and sources. And you can see the map looks, if you look at it on the global level, it looks mostly green. And green means that's where forests are taking up carbon. Huh? So that's where, the, that's where the climate service of the forest is, and we can see it basically, the map. We see also there are some red spots, huh? red spots, and they're mostly in the tropics, not exclusively. And these are areas where forests are losing carbon. Huh? So that's where we are making the climate problem worse. Understanding where forests are lost huh? and why are they changing and what's the impact of that loss on the climate. Huh? That's, that's what we have been able to now put on the map. Huh? It makes it an open and transparent problem. Huh? People can really see it. And I think sometimes if people can really see it, like see a map and see what the, where the problems are, I think that should, that should help to open people's mind.